Good day everyone, my name is Mark Jonas Mongolobdan from Bachelor of Science in Nursing Level 1, Main 3. And for today's video, I'm going to perform the shampooing the hair of a patient compiled in bed. Hope you learn something. Good morning ma'am, I'm Mark Jonas Mongolobdan, your student nurse. May I ask if your name is Joelyn Mongolobdan? And your birthday is on October 20, 2014. So today, ma'am, I were going to clean your hair and we're going to perform bed shampooing. So after we explain the procedure, now I have here two cotton balls and I will I will put this to the patient ears to protect. After we put the cotton ball to the patient ear, now we're going to inspect if our patient has open wounds on her hair, on her head. Now that we inspect the patient's head and we notice that there's nothing wrong to our patient's head. So, after we bring our patient head close to the edge of the bed, we place him on her diagonal across. So, we need to do is to place, place the pillow under the client's shoulder and we need to protect it with rubber sheet or any plastic that can cover the pillow. And also, we need to put another towel to add some cover. We also need to brush or comb the patient hair uh, to remove any tangles. After we pull the top sheet down to the middle and replace with a blanket. So we need to cover the chest. We need to cover the chest of our patient with a bath towel. We also need to protect our patient's eye. So that's why we need to cover it with the use of face towel. And we can also ask our patient to hold it. Make sure that when you prepare a water, make sure that this water is warm. So, if you want to check the temperature of the water, you can use your wrist to check it. And the next step we need to do, we need to moisten the hair thoroughly with warm water. So, after we thoroughly wet the hair of our patient, we will massage it until the whole hair be wet. Make sure that the whole hair of our patient will be totally wet with warm water. And we need to massage it from the scalp by the use of our finger. Now, you can also mix the shampoo to the water and now we need to apply the shampoo to the scalp 
and hair of our patient and we need to massage it by the use of our finger. So after you massage the whole hair, the, the scalp and the whole hair, you need to rinse the hair properly by pouring water. So we need to repeat the process until the hair is clean. After, so after we rinse the hair properly, the next thing we need to do is like this. We must get another towel. So this towel, we need to put this on the back of our patient's head to make the hair dry. So next step we need to do is to squish as much as water as possible out of the hair with our hands so we need to remove the face towel and we must wipe our patient face So after we squeeze all the water from our patient hair as much as possible until our patient hair is dry, the next thing we need to do is to brush or comb their hair. So let's do this. After we brush our comb on our client's hair, we need to remove all the towels and also the cotton balls from our client's head. And also we need to remove the towel from our patient's chest. We can also use this towel to dry the hair. And especially the towel at her back. We need to leave the so we need to leave the rubber or plastic sheet under the head of the client to protect the pillow while the hair is. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching our video presentation. Please don't forget to like our video. Thank you.